Hello besties and welcome to another reaction. Um, this next song was uh, chosen by uh, Craig Ost. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you with one of the greatest voices ever in the history of music, Roy Orbison. This one is called Running Scared. Let's go get it. Just running scared Each place we go So afraid That he might show Yeah, running scared What would I do If he came back And wanted you Just running scared Feeling low Running scared You love him so Just running scared Afraid to It just occurred to me for the first time that Roy Orbison and Elvis Presley, they actually do sound alike. Now, hear me out. If you can picture Elvis' voices um, in a low register, because that's what he, he, he sings in a low register than Roy does, and listen to Roy Orbison, they almost do the same thing. The only difference I can hear is because Elvis is deeper while Roy is, is a bit higher. Um, they, they've got the same technique. And um, for me, man, those two are, well, I don't have to tell you how incredible those two are as singers. And I just wonder if any of those two influence, you know, the other. Because it just occurred to me now, I was listening to this song and I thought to myself, Elvis could be singing this. <laughs> you know, uh, just incredible. When he started singing, it was just him and the guitar. And I was so happy because I thought to myself, wow, it's going to be acoustic. I'm going to just be hearing this man's voice. But then, you know, Another instrument came in, but funny thing is, it didn't make the song bad, it was even better. So, I'm, I'm loving it, right? And uh, I hope, um, I hope this girl doesn't let him down. You know, Roy had such a terrible time in real life, man. Uh, a very unlucky man. Uh, it's so sad how a man who gave the world such joy could have so much bad luck. Um, it just breaks my heart, man. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to stop that then. When he sang, we were standing there, and that string section came in and do that. Bah, bah, da, da, da. That just sent shivers down my body, I swear. That was like an incredible moment. <laughs> Fantastic. I might go back and hear that again. Oh my god, that gives me the shivers, man, I tell you. <laughs> Dear Roy, I love you so much. Uh, that was incredible, you know, so dramatic. Incredible stuff, man. Um, to start with, right, 
he didn't hit that famous high note until almost the end of the song. And why I said it was so dramatic was, I didn't know what was going to happen. Is she going to go back to this guy or go with him? And he revealed that by in the last lyric of the song. How incredible is that? And then, boom, he signs out. Uh, that, that, that could be like an opera play. <laughs> incredible stuff, man. Just 2 minutes, 11 seconds. How can 2 minutes, 11, 11 seconds pack so much drama, you know, uh, mystery and magic? Uh, it's incredible. You hear songs nowadays, 4 minutes, and you don't feel nothing really, you know, nice song, but yeah. But this man in 2 minutes and 11 seconds has managed to, like, take me through so many kinds of emotions. Um, fantastic, man. I love this song to death. I'm going to be playing this again, guys. Um, not on your time, on my time. Uh, this is beautiful, man. Um, the amazing and incredibly talented Mr. Roy Orbison. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Amen. I hope you enjoy that. Please forgive my uh, over overexcitement. Uh, I couldn't help myself. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big like for me. And I thank you for that. If it's your first time here today on the channel, Welcome on board. I hope you come back again. My name is Harry. Stay cool, stay safe out there. Most of all, stay beautiful in your heart and soul. Take care. Bye-bye.